Well, hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Kevin here, and I just wanted to drop you guys a quick tip. And uh, I was preparing for a wedding coming up next weekend, and the bride and groom have a really long extended do not playlist. And I mean, it's like 30 songs that they do not want to play. So typically that's not that big a deal when we have a couple like, you know, one, two, three songs not to play, but when it's an extended list and also when there are, um, let's say bangers on that list, songs that I might typically drop uh, in, in a set for a couple, that would definitely be a problem, a challenge that I came up with a little idea that I wanted to share with you guys today so that maybe if you come into that situation, you guys can uh, solve it this way too, okay? So first, let me show you guys just a quick look at this Do Not Playlist. All right, so here's just my computer screen and I've got basically like the, um, <laughs> my little uh, prep sheet here. This is my uh, sheet that I pull together and I put everything, all the information, all the details in it, and I print this out. Usually it's like, you know, one or two pages and I execute the wedding from this. But here is basically uh, all the must plays that the, the folks want and the do not playlist. And you can see it's it's kind of lengthy. Um, the must plays, by the way, it's just these first couple bullet points. And then there's other song suggestions like they, they got a bunch from their couple, their um, RSVPs and whatnot. But any case, you can you can see They've got a lot of things on here. They've got some things that, you know, might be questionable, you know, things that I wouldn't typically play, but certainly some things that I might drop here, um, you know, just in the normal course of DJing, having some fun. So like, you know, staying alive, that's a staple for me. Everybody likes, especially the older crowd. And that's one of those that work across uh, families and genres. Look at this, we are family. I mean, there's just some of these that aren't, they're not, let's say, um, must plays, but there's certainly uh, t some timeless classics. Ain't no mountain high enough. Um, any case, I also do this other thing where I ask always, I uh, quiz my couples on what is your you know genre affinity? What what genres do they really like? And I ask them to do a a three two one zero kind of scoring, and they they kind of gave me their thoughts. So some of these up here, um, <laughs> you know, might fall into these, and I might have picked them. So any case, here's what I figured out. I'm gonna switch you over to my DJ laptop here. And um, so I just have my collection here. And what I did was I went over, uh, and this is record box, by the way, I went into my record box and I'm just gonna sort here by name and check this out. I basically put a tilde in front of every song that was on their do not playlist. So I just renamed the track title with a tilde. Okay, so you can kind of see this, right? Now, uh, a lot of these tracks, I got multiple versions. I got, you know, like remixes. That's what this RMX means. I got like redrums or like, you know, uh, I got uh, multiple, you know, multiple versions. Uh, some cases like Jump Around by House of Pain. There's this new track called Jumpin' by Pitbull that's really just a sample of that track. Uh, sounds pretty good, but it's uh, it's got the same vibes and the same kind of uh, sound. So that's certainly maybe not one that I would play anyway, but just, uh, you know, if it was close, I went ahead and, and marked it. So here's what's going on with this, why I did this. So the tilde is just that little character, like on my MacBook is this little guy right here, um, this little, you know, wavy uh, character. And that's really for, I think, Spanish characters and things like that and some other things. But what we do with this tilde is I will know, and this is kind of cool, right? Like in the course of DJing, if I'm sorting, I always, um, you know, we'll go through my, uh, I've got my event playlist here and I'll like, uh, here, I'll bust it out. Like, so I've got my dance, this is my dance playlist for them, okay? And it kind of includes um, all the stuff that they said, hey, here's some stuff that we like. And then I put in a bunch of other stuff I thought they might like based on their genres. But I'll, I'll bounce out of this. Like, I don't stay in this dance playlist that I made just for them. I'll bounce out of this. Like, maybe I'm rocking with some, uh, you know, some Flo Rida or, you know, doing something like some Chris Brown or something. And I'm going to, like, bust out. If that's, like, catching fire on the dance floor, I'm going to bust out into some other playlists or go through my collection, maybe find something else that might work. And guess what? If, if I go and I hit one of these tildes, I'm going to see that because I don't use that tilde character 
in the front of my tracks for anything else. It's only, as you can see, out of my uh, you know 7,100 songs in my collection right now, you can see it's only as I've sorted by that by characters. You can only it's just these that are marked with that tilde. So I'll know instantly. Like let's say I I stumble upon I don't know Gangnam Style. And I'm like oh shit that'll work because. I don't know, whatever, that's the right mood, that's the vibe, oops, nope, I'll see the tilde and I'll be like, I'm gonna skip that and get, find another track. So this is just a quick way, instead of having, like sometimes if I have three or four songs, I can either remember them or I'll put a little post-it note, you know, on my DJ laptop or maybe down here or something and just say, hey, you know, here's my do not plays, you know, and that'll keep me, keep me good. This is a nice way for, to re, for me to remember without messing with my flow too much and also check this out. Once I'm done and I get through this event um, next weekend, what I'm going to do is just go through here and take out the the tilde, take out the characters. And I, you can easily search like, you know, up here in the search bar, you could just say, hey, show me everything with the tilde. And uh, it's going to bring up those songs, those tracks, and I'm just going to clear them out. And then I'm back and ready to go. So just a little tip. I don't know if you guys run into that at all, but uh, I... Uh, I haven't actually had such a large do not play list. I've had like, you know, don't play certain artists or that kind of thing. But uh, with these very specific do not plays, I needed to come up with something quick that would help me and not impact my workflow too much. And I think I found it. So we'll try this trick next week and I think it'll work. So in any case, just wanted to share. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.